Hello folks, the Galaxy S24 Plus appeared on Geekbench last month. That benchmark entry confirmed that the upcoming Samsung flagship is powered by a new Qualcomm chipset. However, at that time we had no point of comparison with other upcoming smartphones that will also employ the next-gen Qualcomm chip. Now we do. A newer Geekbench entry for the new Bear NX769J, which is believed to be the upcoming Red Magic 9, revealed that the new Bear phone has the same pineapple motherboard and world governor as the Galaxy S24 Plus. In other words, both phones will be powered by the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. However, it turns out that Samsung will equip the Galaxy S24 with a beefed-up version of the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Apparently, it's another chipset labeled for Galaxy. The regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip has a base frequency of 2.26 GHz, two CPU cores clocked at 2.27 GHz, five cores running at 2.96 GHz, and one core operating at 3.19 GHz. Those those appear to be the specifications for the standard version of the chip. The Galaxy S24 Plus, however, has a different configuration. Instead of rocking 2 plus 5 plus 1 CPU cores, the Galaxy S24 chip has 4 CPU clusters in the 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 arrangement. The 4 Galaxy Snapdragon Edge Gen 3 has the same 2.26 GHz base frequency and 2.26 GHz frequency on the first two CPU cores. However, the 3 core cluster is clocked at 3.15 GHz instead of 2.96 GHz, and the single high-performance core runs at 3.30 GHz, up from 3.19 GHz. All this suggests that Samsung and Qualcomm will continue the partnership they started earlier this year, when the Galaxy S23 was announced with an exclusive for Galaxy Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. The upcoming Galaxy S24 series will also be powered by a 4 Galaxy Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, which will perform better than the standard variant. Nevertheless, there is a possibility that Qualcomm will eventually release an equally powerful version of the 4 Galaxy chip for other manufacturers to use later in 2024. Galaxy S23 FE leaks and rumors are cropping up at an accelerated rate, which indicates that the phone is being readied for release sooner rather than later. Yesterday, Samsung spilled the beans on one of its own portals, and today the Galaxy S23 FE passed through Bluetooth. If there was still any doubt, the Bluetooth documents link the Galaxy S23 FE name with the SMS711 model number. What's more is that Bluetooth greenlit a handful of variants. The list includes the US and US unlocked Galaxy S23 FE, the international model, the Canadian version, and the fun edition device meant to go on sale in China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. In theory, these recent occurrences bring the Galaxy S23 FE closer to its market debut. There is no official information on when Samsung might want to release the next fun edition device, but back in June, what was that Samsung intended? to release the Galaxy S23 FE in select markets in quarter 3 2023, with a wider release being planned for quarter 4 2023 and even quarter 1 2024. The Galaxy S23 FE is set to be powered by the Snapdragon Agent 1 in the USA and the Exynos 2200 in most other markets. Other leaks and rumors hint at a flat design with individual circular camera cutout similar to the Galaxy S23. A few months ago, there was a lot of heated discussion about how Samsung Display System story status on its phones and tablets. Inaccurate reports had claimed that Samsung software uses upwards of 60 gigabytes of storage space due to bloatware apps and services, but that turned out to be false. However, Samsung is now changing the way it shows system storage figures so that people make an issue out of nothing. With One UI 6.0, Samsung is more accurately depicting system storage numbers rather than grouping the disparity between advertised storage space and actual storage space into system. One UI 6.0 Oh, displays it as other files. This stops people from believing that Samsung software actually takes as much as 60 gigabytes of storage on their 512 gigabyte phone. This other file section is nothing but the disparity between advertised storage measured in gigabytes and the actual way of measuring storage gigabytes. For example, a 256 gigabyte Galaxy S23 has 238 gigabytes, the way OS uses to calculate available storage space or factual storage space. That difference of 18 GB was earlier grouped into system, which is around 16 to 18 GB, resulting in a number that's around 36 GB. Now, One UI 6.0 shows system figures more accurately around 17.5 GB. For comparison, the Pixel 7 Pro, which people think runs pure Android, has a system partition of around 16 GB. Hopefully, with this change, Galaxy smartphone and tablet users will no longer complain about Samsung devices using too much storage space unnecessarily.
necessarily. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.